Growing up, we all had our favorite players, and whether they played for your favorite team or just a team that you enjoyed watching on the side, there was nothing more devastating than when a superstar would leave their team to go to another organization. Well, today, what I'm going to be talking about is a few players who I wish would return to the team that drafted them. Now, a lot of these players have made careers for themselves, and some of them have fallen off a bit since having success with their previous franchises. So today, I'm going to go through a bunch of players who I personally would love love to see go back. So these could be players that you don't consider to be superstars or players that you didn't like growing up. But let me know if any of these guys are players that you enjoyed watching on their previous franchises and also comment some players I may have missed. I might do a part two to this if you guys like this. Now, before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video for more content. And let's get right into it. The first player on my list is going to be Patrick Laine. Back in 2016, he was selected second overall by the Winnipeg Jets, and believe it or not, at that point, some people considered he was going to be a greater talent than Austin Matthews. In his first few seasons, he was box office with the Jets, having over 30 goals in the first three seasons and finishing off the 2019-20 campaign with 28 goals before getting injured. Laine would then be injured for the following year and then traded to Columbus for Pierre-Luc Dubois, where now he plays in Columbus but can't seem to stay off the injury report. Despite being injured for the most part, Laine is still having some great goal production and he does get a lot of hate because he's not exactly living up to the contract that he signed over with the Blue Jackets. But watching him back in his Winnipeg Jets days, if you were a fan of that team or just a fan of hockey in general, Laine was such a fun and dynamic player to watch. His goal scoring ability was one of the best across the league and I sort of just miss seeing him in those Winnipeg Jets colors. I feel like he still has the capability to be a superstar in this league and I would love to see him get sent back to the Winnipeg Jets. His success over there and just the chemistry that he would have with that team alone would make him far better than what's going on over in Columbus as they continue to rebrand. Next up, a player drafted back in 2011, 104th overall in the fourth round, Johnny Gaudreau was a Calgary Flames superstar, and his time in Calgary was nothing short of exceptional. Now, Gaudreau was never supposed to be some franchise-altering player, but he quickly burst onto the scene with his high skill and work ethic, making him the franchise player for the Calgary Flames in just a few seasons. He later would be followed along by Matthew Kachuk, and the two of them would tear it up in his final season with the Flames as he scored over 115 points with 75 assists and 40 goals. In that following offseason, Goudreau would opt to sign with the Columbus Blue Jackets and despite still having some great numbers, he just doesn't seem like the same caliber of player he was with the Flames. Now, I would love to see Johnny return to Calgary. He was one of my favorite players to watch growing up. I just love the way he attacks the game, his speed, his hands. This guy is just exceptional in every way. And I know Columbus, again, is going through that rebuild. So I do think that both of him and Laine should move on. And I would love to see them both return to those teams that they had so much success with in the past. This next player was drafted in 2005 by the Blues with the 24th overall pick in the draft. TJ Oshie has been a beauty since he entered the league, being a fantastic role model for young hockey players and continuing to thrive for excellence with every season that he plays. But while he was with the St. Louis Blues, you would have a hard time finding a player who is as charismatic and hardworking as Oshi. Yeah, he never was the most flashy player, not putting up these insane point numbers. But in his final few years with the Blues, he had around 60 points, which at the time was pretty high for the league. Oshi was then moved to the Capitals, where he found a lot of success winning his first Stanley Cup. But but watching him back in those St. Louis days and his era in the Sochi Olympic Games, I don't know if there was a more likable player than TJ Oshie at that time. I want him to head back to St. Louis just for one season. I would love to see him back in those colors, and I think he could offer a lot of veteran leadership to that young group, giving them a little bit more edge to their game. Next up is a player who was drafted back in 2009 with the third overall pick. Matthew Shane was taken by the Colorado Avalanche and was seen as one of the best up-and-coming players in the league. Now, his time with the Colorado Avalanche really wasn't all that successful, despite him having some good seasons in the early days of his tenure. But unfortunately, he was eventually moved to the Ottawa Senators, then to the Columbus Blue Jackets, and eventually with the Nashville Predators playing for a few seasons, where he finally has landed in Dallas, still scoring at a high level. Now, Duchesne has been around a 60-point scorer for most of his career, and is considered a top six forward for almost any team across the league. So I would love to see him 
head back to Colorado where he could be inserted into their lineup as maybe a second, third line center and provide some more depth scoring for that team. I feel like Colorado has always been one of those teams with high end talent that's going to score you goals, but they sort of lack a lot of depth in some areas. And I feel like Duchesne would be a great addition for them. He's still playing at a high level, scoring 65 points this year with the Dallas Stars and 25 goals. And even his time with Nashville, he was still performing at this elite level and it just went so underrated because he was playing in a smaller market. But to see Matt Duchesne back in those maroon and blue colors would be something so nostalgic for me as he was one of my favorite skilled players growing up. Now, this last one is a personal one for me back in 2009, 2010 ish, where I really first started getting into hockey. The Boston Bruins selected Tyler Sagan with their second overall pick, and he quickly became my favorite player on the team. Now, his efforts in Boston was never really exceptional because he was still learning how to, well, be a professional in the NHL, having his best season with the Bruins being in his second year with 67 points. The Bruins would then move on from Tyler Sagan around 2013 because they really couldn't agree on his work ethic and his off-ice issues, sending him to the Dallas Stars in exchange for Louis Erickson and Riley Smith. Tyler Sagan would then go on to be a pretty solid 80-point player for the rest of his career and still is playing at a high level. Now, I know that Tyler Sagan is really more known for being a Dallas Star, but if you're a fan of the Bruins or just Tyler Sagan in general, then you'll remember him back in his black and gold days, and I would just love to see him head back to the Boston Bruins, considering that the Dallas Stars are looking to move on to their next core group, and the Boston Boston Bruins could really use a veteran center to add to their lineup. Tyler Sagan being sent back to Boston would be really a childhood dream of mine. I would love to see this happen. And I still think that Tyler Sagan could add a lot to any team across the NHL. But let me know what you guys think about all of these. Which of these guys would you love to see head back to their former team? And comment if you would like to see a part two. I have a lot of other guys that I would like to talk about. Just some nostalgic players that I remember being on some other teams. So like I said, comment that below. And as always, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one.